Let the battle of the chicken houses commence. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There are very few reasons I will wait in a line, but a fresh and juicy chicken tender is absolutely one of them. Mm. And you can't go wrong with the chicken tender kings of the world, Popeyes and Raisin Cane's. Yes, these two places both require you to keep a folding chair in your car because the lines are so long that you want to be able to sit down. Oh yeah, folding the, chair, yes. The food is worth it. Uh, what we want to know is which place is more worth it. And we're not gonna make them perform a skit or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just gonna let, taste the food. That's right, and two things I know for sure. The sky is not falling today, but one of these fast food chicken joints will fall from grace today. It's time for Food Fuse, Raisin Cane's versus Popeye's. All right, we're gonna taste and rate similar foods from each restaurant. The winning restaurant will be dubbed the Chick Magnet and will win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. A cluck, 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 a cluck, 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 cluck. Hey, I'm Raisin Cane's Cane, born and breaded in Louisiana. Breaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these are chicken tenders for $1.99 a la carte, and it comes with our signature mystery sauce on the side for dipping. Okay. Enjoy. Cane. Abel? The mascot isn't even a chicken. You're always trying to copy me. <sighs> cluck, 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 cluck. Get out of here. Chicken fight. Oh my God. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm Popeye's Abel. And that's my brother, I swear to God. He's gonna try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh my, we're going there. Oh Religious. yeah, yeah, heavy handed we're doing metaphors. It. And this is our chicken tenders. It's tin for $16.99. Comes with our famous blackened ranch. Blackened ranch. For dipping. Ooh. Well, so uh, first thing is these are smaller. Yeah, like if I if I look at these and look at these, good God. I mean, look at that. What happened to that finger? And then look at look at look at this, y'all. I mean that I mean, Popeyes, one. Popeyes, that's that, extra. Yeah, give large me the finger. biggest one you got. There you got it. You got they're it. They're very right there. consistent at canes. Let's and try canes. they're also very limited. I feel like we're tasting Popeyes today through the lens of raising canes. I'm going no sauce at first. In terms of me. like the categories. Cause I got more stuff at Popeyes. Their sauce is magical. I love it. That's a good tender. The tender is actually tender. It better be good, it's the only thing they serve, basically. It's very solid. And then you know what? They have an interesting origin story, Link. Because okay. Founder Todd Graves and original business partner Craig Silvey submitted a business plan for a chicken finger restaurant while attending LSU, Louisiana State University. Yeah. The instructor said it'll never work pushing one product like that and gave the project the worst grade in the class. <laughs> this is a failed project, guys. And it worked. Let that be a lesson to you college students. Good. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Popeye's got that signature breading taste, mm. also founded in Louisiana by Al Copeland when he was 28 years old. Of course, it was back in 1972. There's a lot more of these in Raisin Cane's. There's over 2,000 uh, Popeye's currently worldwide. Mm. Al Copeland. I love the Cajun spice underneath it, man. In the breading, they put the Cajun spice. Yeah, you got that, you got that heat hitting. There's I, I, something about the Raisin Cane's that are just like, this homemade vibe. This is very kind of like fast foody. So I, I'm definitely um, on, on Team Canes for the tenders. Um, I think they're both great chicken tenders, but I just really appreciate this Cajun. It sends, it's, and it's super juicy. They're both pretty juicy. Yeah, they've been. This in particular is really I mean, the size it. of this. I, I, I couldn't have told you how much bigger it is. Um, I'm not being impacted by that because you can always just eat more tenders, you know? That's true, that's true. I'm gonna give this chicken tender, you ready for me to mm -hmm. score? I'm gonna give that an eight, bro. I'm giving it a seven, solid seven. Over here, it's big, it's crunchy. The sauce is not as good, in my opinion, as that sauce though. I gotta go with a six. I think there's a two point differential here. <laughs> I think that the Popeyes are a little bit better, but not much, so I'm giving them an eight. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, dude, I love it. I love the breading, man. It's magical. Hey, this yes. is Popeye's fries for two seventy nine. Oh yeah, 
And here is Raisin Cane's better and more delicious fries for two seventy-two. <laughs> Sorry about my brother. Sometimes I just want to kill him. Oh, uh, I've I've heard the story. Yeah. Wow. Now, so these are crinkle Crinkly. cut, but they're thin. They're thin. I can't say that I've ever had that anywhere else. Typically, you get a arida sized crinkle cut. Um, not a fan. Now again, we're not eating them directly from the restaurant. They get here pretty fast, but we take that into account, and that's the, it's the same for both. But, but I don't know if this is that much better. Yeah, these are horrible. I'm dis I'm discovering that I'm dipping it in that sauce that I love, and now when you've taken that away, mm, you're they're just left exposed. with a naked fry. They're asking you to do all the work on these. Now over here in Popeye Land, which by the way, Popeyes. Um, was not named after the sailor man. It was named after Gene Hackman's character in The French Connection. Jimmy Popeye Doyle. Who knew? Film came out about a year before Al Copeland opened the first Popeye's restaurant. Um, these are clearly better, but they're still not. They can get sloppy on you. It's not an upper tier fry. I like the fact that it's seasoned. You don't have to. You don't have to beg for a dip to 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 choke it down. I, I actually. It's getting better, actually. I like these. The more I mean, I like the black pepper on these fries. That's nice. I'm I'm a black pepper on my fry man. No matter where I go, I always put black pepper on my. Would fries. you put more black pepper on these? They've got a lot of black no, pepper. Might be no, no, they've done it pepper. for me. Okay, cool. and that's that's notching me up at least a point. Okay, um, these are just not a great fry. I don't want to hold too much against it because you need to have a fry fresh out of the fryer. But I'm gonna say, I can't imagine these being better than a five. I'm not gonna hold back, I'm giving them a three. Because, oh! and that, that's assuming the best version of these. Because there's nothing done to them. They're relying too much on the sauce. Up your game, Kane. And I'm gonna go with a solid seven on these. Um, I'm, I'm only gonna give it a six. I agree, they're, I wouldn't, they're not gonna be in the top five fast food fries, but still pretty good. And now the round we've all been waiting for, the slaw round. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> this is our cockadoodle delicious coleslaw for 135. It's a secret recipe, but if I had to guess, probably got mayo in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, mayonnaise. it is white. It's very white. Sure is. Hey, you know what else has a secret recipe? Whatever he's made out of his mom and dad's worst DNA. <laughs> Fuck you! Nah! Whoa! It was a cluck with a C. Don't put us in the middle of it. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is our cold slot for two seventy nine. The website says it's a crisp, cool, tangy treat. The website. You've been on the website. Yeah, yep. yeah. She Chickens gets all her information website. from the website. It's the only place that they can go as employees on the internet. You ever just walk up into a fast food restaurant and get the slaw and just the slaw? No, um, but slaw with fried chicken is a good thing. I mean. When KFC started, well, not when they started, but because they did that, it's kind of the thing to do. Um, this is a very run-of-the-mill, right down the middle slaw. It gives you a nice break from all of that friedness. I don't think I've ever been excited about slaw. I, I like and the I'm KFC slaw. I'm currently not excited about this slaw. That one looks very homemade. It's not bad, though. I, I like the fact that everything looks like your mom could make it. Well, this one's flatter. Yeah, this Flatter one is, and wider. This one's more like deli slaw. There's something interesting in there though. They've decided to put a flavor in there, maybe a little mustard or something. I immediately like it better. This is better. You know, this is just so, I don't know. I just feel like the fact that it does feel like something you get at the family reunion is not great for me. It's, I, I would say it's authentic and it's salty. I like them both. I'm torn. Um, I'm giving this a six. I don't eat it without having a, some fried chicken still in my mouth. That can be arranged. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it a seven, and then I'm going to negate my contribution to this round by also giving this a seven. Um, I think that they're even. They're different, but they're even. Well, I'm also going to give this one a seven because I gave this one a six, and I think this one's a little bit better. Seven. Okay. Okay. Slow. Can I just have more of the tenders? Kind of neck and neck here. As you know, this year we're doing something special. The mythical pin of the month 
And this month's <laughs> pen is me as a human being. Get it? Human being. And I like beans. And I actually did model naked for this. Uh, this is what it's I look like accurate. with no clothes on. Anatomically. And uh, yes, so you can get this thing at mythical, mythical.com, but it's only available for 24 hours. So you gotta go over there and get it, okay, mythical.com. Yep, time is fleeting. Get it. <laughs> Got out here as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the thing everybody waits in line for. It's um, it's a chicken cutlet fried on a brioche bun, topped with spicy mayo and pickles for four ninety nine. Yeah. Started the, the whole battle. Yeah, they, they wait in line for the bathroom to throw it up. That's what they oh, do. Oh, smack talk. Yeah, because okay. this is our chicken tender in a bun with the sauce and the lettuce for $7.99. You're going to like it a lot better. Okay. So the way they make a sandwich is by putting tenders on a sandwich. And I've never ordered it this way. I've had this many times. Now, there, okay, there's some sauce on there. Make sure they let's got take it. Sauce. Let's take a closer look. Get rid of this. Open this thing up. Three tenders. Happened to the? They kind of skimp with the sauce. There's a not bit. a lot of sauce. And then, well, there's more sauce on the bottom, and there's a nice fresh <laughs> s little slice of lettuce. Is that cabbage? <laughs> it's like it looks like a cabbage. It's leaf. become cabbage. No pickles. None that I can see. No pickles. No pickles. But it's got that sauce, baby. Okay, here we go. That good sauce. See if you like their tenders better. I'm gonna like the sandwich more. As well, I think the I thing bet is, you are. the cr I'm missing the crispiness. That's actually something I didn't even talk about on the tenders. The Popeye's breading is crispier, which I think is yeah. really good on a sandwich. It's great on a tender, but it's really good on a sandwich because you need something to break up the consistency of the bread. Like, oh, I hit the chicken. You gotta know when you hit the chicken. You know what I'm saying? The thing about having tenders on a sandwich, Zaxby's used to do this. And then with all the chicken sandwich wars, they came out with an actual chicken, like filet. Yep. Right. To replace it. Because you're eating off of one side of it, oh, oh and you're losing a, you're losing uh, a, a, hate, hate a tender. To see it. Hate to see you're it. You're losing a tender. I mean, that can hit the floor. That just made me want it, to eat this. It doesn't feel like a chicken sandwich. It feels like you put tenders in a bun. And it never came together. Now we got pickles on this. We've got spicy mayonnaise, and um, you know the bun's good. We've we've had this bun before, and you got that crispy chicken. Oh, this one's also falling apart. The crunchy on that breading. It makes a difference, man. If I don't eat a tender, I don't want it nestled up against two other ones in a bun. I want to dip it and eat it. I feel like they've just decided to try to compete with everyone else but they weren't willing to go all the way. And so putting the tenders on a bun <clears throat> is kind of a poor attempt at competing with other chicken sandwiches. I'm yeah, give it in a this five. day and age, you can't do it. He just gave it a five. I agree, I'm giving it a five. Um, I just want the tenders on their own. Over here, this may not be your favorite chicken sandwich, but you can't deny this is one of the best. Like I'm tempted to give it a 10. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna back off a little bit to a strong nine. And I am gonna give it a nine as well. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I think it may have just pulled away. Look at that. We are having so much fun doing this. We interrupt this episode of Good Mythical Morning to let you know that this past weekend, we released a video on the Red and Link channel. We'd love for you to watch it. <laughs> I don't think Link knew he was gonna say anything. We'd love for you to watch it. Now we're digging a hole, that's what we're doing. But is a hole even a thing? Well, the digging of the hole, that ain't nothing. So I guess a hole really is something. Battle of the Breads, let's get it. Here is Raisin Cane Sexist Toast for 135. That's pretty, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here and watch hey! you. <clears throat> that passive aggressive stuff you've been saying, it's not gonna fly with me. You think you're the only one who could do puns, huh? <laughs> All right, this is Popeye's Biscuits for 89 cents each. Very cookie cutter. Let's just go ahead and start there. <laughs> like literally, maybe they, maybe they use a cookie cutter. Well, maybe a biscuit cutter. This is pretty though. We're, we got a sweet spot for biscuits. We do, but I love some Texas toast, and this is like almost like pound cake. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it's got a pound cake shape. This is the superior bread for a chicken tender. That's a strong statement. <laughs> Once you eat it, I know it's, you can eat it with like steak and stuff. I think this, it, let me put it this way. It is the best thing to pair with Texas toast. A nice juicy chicken tender. Because it's long, you can put it on top. It's just, you know what? You they should have made their sandwich out of this. Mm-hmm. Yep. One tender, two of these. And you can do that on your own though. It's like a little sub. Mm-hmm. These are scary, because they, they just doesn't. Well, they're small. I mean, it, it's so, it's, they're it's so hard. uniform that it, it makes it feel. It's not very flaky. They're more. Um, powdery. It's got kind of like a microwave biscuit taste. It doesn't taste bad, but biscuits can be so much better than this. You know what I'm saying? Biscuits can be so good. Yeah, this is a bad biscuit. And yeah, I'm gonna compare it to Bojangles. It sucks compared to Bojangles. <laughs> it's not nearly as good as Bojangles, it's a biscuit. Okay. I can order a light biscuit at Bojangles and I'll get one. These are all the same. I think that the bread round has been a solid showing for Raising Cane's. Mm -hmm. This is some good bread, eight, solid eight. I agree. You know what? Screw it. Nine. It's just, they've done they've done the best thing right there. That's the best thing they've done. The best thing you've done, Raising Cane's, is your bread. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way down to this like is, a three. I'm gonna say, hurting, man. I don't want the bread round to be too um, determinative. I'm gonna say it's a five. I'm disappointed. It doesn't taste horrible, but I have to give it a four. I gotta give it a four. And where does that leave us? It leaves me eating more of this chicken sandwich. <laughs> Need to wash down all this chicken with something. All right, it's time to end things with Popeye's sweet tea for two forty nine. I'm thinking of ending things too with raisin cane sweet tea for two forty nine. Oh yeah, you want to end things? Yeah, it's time. Okay. Who who could have seen this fight coming? Nobody. Uh, uh, crack. Oh. oh, cruel fate. Enjoy. <laughs> He said, I'm not that heavy. No, we, we didn't choreograph this. <laughs> yeah. He said, crack, cruel fate. Yeah, crack, because he, he, he cracked her neck, you know. Who has a better logo? Popeye's, Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's has got a good logo. That's actually one of the things they got going for him. Look at that. That tea, that tea's pretty good. Pretty sweet, pretty it's, nice. It's pretty sweet. It's leafy, you can taste the leaves. That's really solid tea. And then over here, pretty sweet too, very sweet. They're both equally. It's not quite as good. There's more flavor to it. It's just, do I like the flavor more? It's more tea flavor. Yeah. But I, I don't think that's why I drink tea. Taste more of the leaves. I don't drink tea to taste tea. I drink tea to taste sugar. Now that I go back here, it just tastes like water because this one's. Wow, that is what happened, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like this tea until I had that tea and now this tea tastes like water. I'm glad we tasted this tea first or else we'd be saying, this tea just tastes like water, it sucks. So but now confused. we're like, this tea tasted great until I tasted this. So what are we gonna do with that? Louisiana uh, yeah. tea. If you keep drinking it, the Popeyes gets better and better. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just two boys drinking tea. <laughs> this okay. tea's not great now. This tea's a six. I mean, it's not bad, because if I was only drinking it, I would think it was great. I know, I thought it was gonna be a seven. Should I go? I think I'm gonna go all the way to five. Yeah, I'm no, gonna go. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with six. I'm going with six. And as Carolina boys, we've had a lot of sweet tea. Uh, sweet tea gets better than this. And you know who makes it better? Bojangles. Bojangles makes the best sweet tea. If, you, if you're going, if you're going so through sweet, the though. South, It'll and, put you, a hurt and you want to know what sweet tea is supposed to taste like, just get to Bojangles sweet tea. But this is good. Mm, seven. I agree, I'm giving it a seven. So if we look at the totals across the board, we have Raising Cane's with 75, 
and Popeyes pulling away with the win, 82. And we gotta keep in mind, we actually judge Popeyes on Raising King's terms. Popeyes has a lot of other stuff. They got the bone-in chicken, right? We didn't even taste shrimp. that. Shrimp, they got shrimp. We're just tasting the things that compare to the stuff at Raising King's. Right. And it took it home. Mm -hmm. Popeyes took it home. Sorry, Kane. So congratulations to Bojangles. Yeah. Well, even though you weren't pertinent to this conversation. You're the real winner today. You're the real winner in our minds. All right. Popeyes, you win a chance to sponsor a GMM episode, and you are the official chick magnet. Yes, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Rebecca from Northwest Indiana. I just got home for the summer after my freshman year of college in Central Illinois. Now I'm just chilling with my chickens, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I got a couple of ideas what she could do with them chickens. Yep, I've been che <laughs> I'm gonna be chilling with some chickens later. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover if these food face fortune telling methods are real or fake and good mythical more. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Beans, beans, good for your heart. Shop March's pin of the month, human bean, for only 24 hours at mythical.com.